Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to make a quick video about my experiences so far selling music on Audio Jungle and Pond5 over the last two months or so. Um, I'm hoping that anyone who's thinking of starting to sell on these platforms might watch this and get um, a better sense of what to expect if you're just starting out uh, uploading your music onto libraries like these. As most of you probably already know, uh, these are both heavily saturated marketplaces and a massive amount of content is uploaded and downloaded every day. Uh, they're probably amongst the most um, popular sites of their kind and yeah, you know, both get a, a ton of traffic every day. So before I uploaded my first track to Audio Jungle, I did a considerable amount of research into what was selling and it's actually really easy to do this on Audio Jungle. You can simply pick your category and filter out the highest selling tracks in any genre. So for example, you know, if I go up to music here and uh, um, click on like cinematic, for example, and then I can scroll down to the sales here and click top sellers. And there you have it, you know, you have um, all these tracks that are doing really well with sales. And this give you a good indication of what's selling on on this on this marketplace. And the cool thing about Audio Jungle is that you can actually click on the authors of, uh, authors themselves and go into their profile and see how long they've been on the site and how much money they made over over a period of time and it's pretty cool I like that about audio jungle so that's nice so so yeah I did a lot of listening initially and decided to write in a few different styles uh, and basically just wait around and, and see what happened uh, honestly I wasn't expecting to make any sales within the first few months because the production quality of the higher selling tracks is actually pretty high for the most part and I wasn't totally convinced that my songs would stand out enough to attract sales initially uh, however I was pleasantly surprised I made about $200 Canadian in the first month and uh, about the same in the next month in the next month so yeah I have 19 tracks uploaded total uh, they're all in a range of different styles. Um, my best-selling track is is a hip-hop track, which is which has sold s uh, seven licenses now, which is cool. So yeah, if I go into my profile here and uh, look at my portfolio, you can you can see all the 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 tracks that I've uploaded. And somewhere down on the bottom here is uh, a song called uh, "Chill Lo-Fi Jazz Hip Hop" and like I said, it's uh, seven, seven different licenses, and uh, it's earned me one hundred thirteen dollars and seventy five cents. So that's great, you know, cool. Uh, some, uh, a few of the, a few of the songs have uh, sold licenses, sold licenses that are a bit more lucrative. So, for example, if you're planning on um, buying a track and mass producing the song or broadcasting it to a larger audience uh, on TV or radio for example you have to purchase a specific type of license and as an author you you can set the price for those types of licenses so um, for example if I go into my statements here then you'll see that most of the songs that I've sold like standard music licenses which are the cheap ones uh, but occasionally you get um, uh, a little bit more money for selling uh, a license like so for example this one's like a music broadcast license for up to a million people and it earned me fifty dollars so that's nice I like that about audio jungles that you can do that and you can set different prices for different types of licenses yeah um, as you can see I've made six hundred ninety three dollars American over overall however this is before audio jungle has taken their cut and the cool thing about audio jungle is, is although you can't see what the songs are used for you can see um, where in the world people are buying it so as you can see I've sold licenses to people all over the world which is really cool I wish I knew what they were using it for um, but uh, anyway as you can see I've, I've got 1875 uh, for earnings this month I've been paid out already for the the two previous months so when you get paid out it it goes back to it clocks back to zero and I just sold the track the other day so that's uh that's uh, 1875 for that sale so um, on pond 5 uh, I've had a little bit less experience with pond 5 and I've spent a little bit less time on it I've uploaded less 
songs to it. However, I did make my first sale the other day, and I've earned fifteen dollars from that so far, uh, which is not much. Um, I think it was uh, yeah, it's like a thirty-second edit of an acoustic indie type song, um, which was actually an audio jungle rejection, I believe. So yeah, one thing I've noticed about Pond Five is it seems like they set the quality bar fairly low um, and uh, w- lower than Audio Jungle anyway. And, you know, as, as far as I can see, they pretty much accept anything unless it's total garbage. Um, and if they do reject it, I'm pretty sure they, the staff will give you some indication as to why. Whereas you get basically no feedback from Audio Jungle whatsoever when they hard reject your track. I've had a few rejections from Audio Jungle that made no sense to me whatsoever. And from what I can tell, they offer no personal feedback on on the track. So you basically just get an email from Audio Jungle saying that the quality isn't up to par. um, And you can't really communicate with with the staff there if you're looking for a reason as to why. I haven't had the same experience with Pond5. Everything I've uploaded to Pond5 has been accepted. I have heard, however, that if you do get a rejection for Pond5, then they will give you some indication as to why they rejected it. So there you have the the Pond5 with communication with the with the with the staff or the the administrators. Is, it seems to be a little bit better. So that's that's a that's a bonus. Um, uploading music to Pond5 is a lot easier. You don't have to um, manually watermark your tracks. So the, each site has their pros and cons. I think I get the. I get the impression that Pond5 is is a little oversaturated. Um, however, uh, yeah, I know that people make uh, do quite well in Pond5, and uh, other people do quite well on Audio Jungle. So I think it's pretty subjective. So yeah, each of these tracks took me about you know an average of uh, four to five hours to make, and it's uh, it's quite time consuming uh, to be honest. But I think when you get the swing of it you can crank them out pretty quickly um, and I'm hoping to upload some tutorials in the near future um, that some of you might find helpful especially if you're just starting out in this just to kind of expedite the process of, of uh, putting content up onto these sites um, is it possible to make a living selling stock music uh, it's hard to say exactly I, I would say that it's very difficult to get to a position where you're able to make a full-time income but it's definitely a worthwhile side hustle and if you can consistently make sales that's great and I I think it uh, initially it's a big time investment especially if you're just starting out in music production Um, the way I look at it is why not make a few extra bucks while improving your production and your mixing skills every song I put up I learn something new and I get a little bit better slowly but surely so um, yeah, you know, stock music is a is a strange thing. It's 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 all about being uh, simple and and effective, and there's an art to executing that properly. So, I'm having fun with it. Uh, I'm excited to see where it goes. Um, let me know what your experiences are with Audio Jungle and Pond Five uh, so far. Um, I'd love to hear your tracks and and see what kind of progress uh, you're making. I'm pretty stoked so far on the fact that I've made about what like 415 bucks over two months Um, you'll see that uh, I've been a member here uh, uh, in an an Envato market since 2013 back in the day I purchased um, a website theme from Envato so um, I've been a member for for quite some time but like I said I've only been uploading for two months and I don't think that 415 dollars Canadian is you know is so bad for for just starting out it's nice to be paid in American too, because it's worth more up here. So yeah, again, let me know. Uh, let me know how it's going for you. Um, hit me up in the comments if you have any questions, and um, please like or subscribe this video if you found it helpful at all. And um, hopefully, see you again soon. Cheers! Thanks for listening.